Hey, welcome back to Clinch Tastes. We got my buddy CJ here. Hi. Hi, CJ. <laughs> CJ is uh, not much of a drinker, but CJ bought me this bottle along with the Larceny that we tried a few weeks ago uh, because he's a fantastic friend and uh, we were working on a project together. So I wanted to bring this unopened bottle of blended scotch whiskey from Cuddy Sark up to CJ for CJ to try on camera with me today. So a little bit about Cuddy Sark. This is the Prohibition Edition. You can't really read it. You probably can. It's just backwards. I'm going to read off the bottle because the website didn't have a whole lot of information. I'm going to go as fast and as clearly as I can so we can get a little bit of info on who this guy next to me is. So the Cuddy Sark Prohibition Edition uh, is full flavored, massive notes of cracked pepper and toffee, which is great, with hints of vanilla. Allow you to drink it full strength whiskey straight as uh, the free spirited would have done in the 1920s. Or you can add a shot of water to make it rigid and rugged and full of flavor. Yummy, yummy. The Cuddy Sark Prohibition Edition has been crafted as a salute to the notorious Captain William S. McCoy. Now, I'm sure we all know the real McCoy from the Frank Sinatra song. And <laughs> William S. McCoy actually smug uh, smuggled Cuddy Sark into the United States during the Prohibition era. So, this is dedicated to him. I'm excited to drink this. I like Cuddy Sark in the green bottle. This one I saw on the on the shelves, and I just had to try it because Prohibition edition. The prohib you know the Prohibition ended about a hundred years ago now, 1920. It's 2020, so let's get Prohibition like. CJ, tell us a little bit about yourself. You run a pretty cool business on the internet, don't you? Uh, yeah, I, I collect and sell vintage items, stuff from the past. I uh, also like to repurpose things. Uh, that are old to something new. Like recently, I just found a whole bunch of old newspapers in the ceiling, and I made a collage out of it. Oh, but like, yeah, I just love vintage items. Anything vintage. Very cool. And you have an eBay account, right? That you sell all that stuff on. Correct. I. What's that called? <laughs> uh, Brzeus. It's B R E Z E U S. Brzeus. Brzeus. Like brazier. <laughs> <laughs> it's what eBay just gave me, and now it's just oh. too lazy to change it. Oh, I could be honest with you. <laughs> That's pretty cool. And actually, not featured on the episode, uh, CJ sent me a photo recently in his excavations that he found something related to Cuddy Sark. You want to tell us a little bit? Yeah, about? it's an uh, actual crate of the Cuddy, Cuddy Stark uh, where they used to put the bottles in and ship it out to all the stores, but like it's the old, like, Crate crate, like a wooden crate. Awesome. Yeah. I saw it in the garage. It's really cool. It doesn't smell like whiskey, though, but it's still pretty badass that he found that out in the world. He also gifted me a pretty awesome tin of a old television show, which I have yet to find out what TV show it is, but I'm still on the search for it. So that's fun. CJ and I have been friends for... A long time. A long time. I would yeah. say oh, at least 15-ish years. We met in high school when you were a freshman yeah correct and i was a sophomore right because you were a year yeah. behind me so yeah so in 2001 ish and became we yeah and then we swam that's right yeah we swam together yeah we kicked out he was varsity before me but uh we yeah we swam in saugus high swim together and that was that was all good and well back then yeah. shout out to all them saugus swimmers watching if any of you are Hi. <laughs> or any saugus alumni at all <laughs> i don't want to wait any longer do you good <laughs> Oh, hey, we got a little animal party going on over here. So as customs go, I pour your first drink. Look at that liquid come out of it. Thank you. Put that down for you. What's going on, Rex? CJ's dog would like to join us. Uh, unfortunately, dogs and alcohol. <laughs> they don't That's not a good idea. That's I don't good. know. Bernie, my dog, has licked whiskey off the floor. Now, I noticed this has a little cork in it. Do you yeah. smell the cork like you do a you wine? You can, actually, or yeah. Is that I, like a I thing didn't to do? do? Oh, yeah. oh. Does it smell Sniff like the prohibition? That. It smells like the 1920s. Cigarettes and cocktails, everybody. That yeah, smells good. And really strong perfume. <laughs> yeah, I like it. it. Smells nice. It's got a good color to it. It pours out very well, you know, and most pores come out every, you know, the same. So, uh, the Cuddy Stark here is being referred to as the real McCoy, uh, which is really cool. And that goes back to William S. McCoy being the first one to smuggle 
Cuddy Sark from Scotland into America. So also, uh, a little bit more for those of you that don't know, this is a blended Scotch whiskey. And blends usually are several different whiskeys from the distillery that the master distiller picks and is like, hell yeah, that's really good. Let's blend all this shit together and see what we can come up with. And that's where you get a lot of Crown Royale blends and you get uh, just blends in general. So this is a blended Scotch whiskey of several different whiskeys from the distillery of Cuddy Sark out in Scotland. That's interesting. Yeah. I've learned a thing or two while drinking all this alcohol. Ooh, it's got a nice nose on it. <clears throat> what do you smell, CJ? Now, this is one thing that a buddy of mine, Sean, told me to do, is you waft it and kind of dance it in front of your nose. You don't necessarily shove your nose in it, because that'll burn your nose hairs and your nose buds, and you won't get all the, the little flavors in there in your nose. So let's also, when you sniff it, make sure your mouth is open so you get some aromas oh, off mouth. the alcohol. Okay. You know, I never Ooh. thought that would actually work. Like when, when I see you dance that in front of you, I'm like, that's <laughs> so, you're so forced. <laughs> but, but like that actually does work. Yeah. It kind of smelled like to me, it kind of smells sweet. Like there's like a sweetness to it. Oh, there definitely is a sweetness to it. But then, 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 <laughs> but then behind it, it almost like has that like, oh God, I'm going to regret this. Cause it's like, it has that like, <laughs> alcoholic smell oh yeah you and get that alcohol right on the top i'm i was telling john i'm also nervous because i'm not a big drinker <laughs> well this is a nice little pour for you so that's okay um but yeah like you said it's, it's got a sweetness to the nose it's got that oakiness it's got the you know the you can smell a little bit of the peatiness in there i i, I like peatiness i like lefroig and like lagavulin that kind of stuff is really humid in your mouth and really hot uh, it kind of reminds you of being in a humid part of the world, which is a very mm. weird classification for a drink, but that's what it is. I don't really feel like smelling it anymore. Do you want to taste it? Sure. Yeah, you do. Cheers. Cheers, man. Cheers. Wow. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> that goes down smooth. Does it? It does. I feel like Denzel watching it in training right now. Man up, man, man up. Man the fuck up. Look, I'm, I'm like turning red. You are. You're red already. <laughs> oh, My goodness. Let's, 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 let's try it again. Yeah, take, take it in your mouth, swirl it around, let it rest on your tongue, and then give it a swallow. Not that violently, <laughs> but that's good. It'll open it up, I'm sure. <laughs> wow. Mmm. <laughs> Mm. Oh yeah, yeah. That really does go down smooth. It does punch you pretty hard. I mean, this is this is a fifty percent bottle. I don't know what the proof is on this. Excuse me. It actually doesn't give me the proof, so I apologize. But it's fifty percent alcohol, and I know there is a distinction of proof and alcohol. I unfortunately don't know it, uh, so that's unfortunately my ignorance there shining through. But I get a. Get a good amount of the oakiness in there. The blend is really interesting because it's not just one whiskey. So it's got a whole bunch of different flavors. Like it says here, black uh, cracked pepper, right off the bat, for sure. As it lingers in my mouth, I get the toffee. I get the vanilla more on the top, more so than as I'm drinking it. But as it settles in my throat and kind of like makes its way down, it really feels like an alcoholic hot chocolate in a very weird way of saying. But... It's warming me up. It's very nice. I like it. It's got a powerful punch to it. It's really full of flavor. And for a blend, it's it's really smooth. And that's the cool thing about blends, too, is blends are much smoother than just a typical barrel strength or pouring straight from the barrel. So um, I'm very happy with this. This is very tasty. This was about 25 bucks at BevMo. So if anybody's interested, you can find this at BevMo. I'm going to finish this, and then we're going to pour ourselves a little bit more. If you, wanna, yeah. if you want more. No, no, no. I'll finish it. Mm-hmm. Mm. It's funny when you mention all the stuff you're tasting. At first, like I'm like, oh yeah, that I I do taste what you're saying. But it, when I'm thinking to describe it myself, it's like I can't think of that. And then you mention it, I'm like, <laughs> oh yeah, 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 I do taste that. That's showing through. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. And that's, almost, go on. I was going to say like it almost has like the the aftertaste. It's almost like you popped your like a mint in. It. Like it has like that kind of minty. Not like a mint, but like, you know how the aftertaste of the mint, like you just took one? Yeah, actually, yeah. It kind of has that. It does have that. That's a good point. 
that does it, it is kind of minty towards the end and that's that I imagine has to do with the blend of everything it's really got it's got some fun oh there it is handcrafted from grain and malt whiskeys matured in American oak and bottled at 100 proof so proof is uh, excuse me the alcohol content is half of the proof of a bottle I'm gonna give you a little bit more and on this little pour here just let it kind of rest on your tongue a little bit swirl it around a little slower so you don't get too many bubbles in there and then take it slowly down your throat <laughs> and swirl it just a little bit you don't have to swirl it like a glass of wine because if you do that the alcohol and a lot of the flavors will actually dissipate whereas in wine they'll open up oh yeah I would say there's a good amount of citrus in it too which has been shown through a lot in a lot of bourbons and whiskeys that I've been drinking lately Mm. Mm -hmm. What do you think now that you've let it kind of mellow out and this is your second pour? It's, it's better on the second pour. Yeah. The, the first, like, like pour, it, for me, it, it, was, it was a lot to take in. Took the breath out of you. Yeah, it did. But the second pour, is, it, it's, it, it's gotten better. Yeah. Yeah. And that's the cool thing about I mean, just like a wine, a bourbon, a whiskey, once it's open, it sits in there, you know, the air gets in there, it opens up a couple of things. I think before I leave, we'll have another little pour that can just sit, and then it'll open up, and maybe like 10 minutes later, we'll drink it. But yeah, this is uh, this is really good. I recommend this. Uh, I, I like the cracked pepper. I like the spiciness. I like the toffee. I like the vanilla. I like the little hint of, uh, of lemon as well, and the breath mint aspect of it too, because it really is towards the back of the throat. It kind of hits you with a little kick of something. And it's very it's got a mintiness to it. It's very strange, but I'm I'm liking it. Yeah. I like it. Thanks for joining me, man. Oh, no That'll problem. That'll wrap us up with Cuddy Sark, Prohibition a Dish, episode 31. Thank you everybody for joining us. Thank you, CJ, for Bye, being no here. Cuddy Sark, everybody. We'll see you next time. I can get across the table and turn this out.